Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and I'm going back, baby. I'm going back to the estate sale. So if you watched yesterday's video, you know that I went to an estate sale that had hundreds of carded action figures for pretty cheap, like anywhere from five up to like $8. I ended up picking up a whole bunch of uh, Sequest action figures, which Sequest was a line of toys that was based on a TV show in the 1990s. From my understanding, it was like Star Trek, but deep in the ocean instead of in outer space. So I got some really cool Sequest action figures, but I left behind a ton of Marvel Toy Biz figures they were mostly $5 each. There were doubles, triples, and quadruples of each figure that was there. There were tons of tons of figures. And I knew that today they were gonna have a 25% off sale so I could get them even cheaper. So we're heading back to the estate sale today and hopefully there's still some figures there for me to pick and choose from. I, I would imagine there are because I can't imagine somebody came in and just bought all of those. But we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that those vintage estate sale gods are good to me today and I can walk out of there with some Marvel figures. Plus, we're gonna hit up a few thrift stores along the way. Let's do it. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. It's raining pretty good out here this morning, but that don't stop your boy Burr from getting his loot. All right, guys, all of this is 50% off. So we're gonna rummage through these and figure out what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna leave behind. I mean, at $2.50, I might as well as get everything, right? Ah. Let's see, got this guy. Got him already. I'm like debating whether or not I should get one of these. I can pick them up for 10 bucks. This Star Trek pile has looked like this since day one. I don't think anybody has touched a figure in here. <laughs> Nobody wants Star Trek. They're figured, I don't know what it is. I guess, I guess the line is crap because nobody wants them. But this guy, this guy's kind of cool. I kind of like the look of his mask. This guy's dressed up like he's going out on a night on the town or something. What's this guy? Oh, that's uh, Captain Kirk. What is this? Design an alien contest. Win a TV appearance on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Oh, that's cool. I don't know how you enter to win, but that's cool. What do we got here? We got Bomb Seller, Whitey Ford, Harmon, Kilbrew, Rod Carew, and who is this? Dizzy Dean. Every time I see these, I think these are Simpsons figures because of that yellow card. This got picked over pretty good though. This was a pretty decent sized pile. So a lot of the starting lineup went surprisingly. Oh, there's Rob Woodson from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, I remember Barassa. We got Boomer Esiason with the Jets. Originally started off with the Bengals. Who they be the Bengals? And then this is cool. I just wish it was, um, or actually not this one. Where did I see it? That's Lorenzo White with the Oilers. But there is, oh, here he is. I saw him here the other day. Warren Moon, but he's with the Vikings. That, if, that were, uh, if that were an Oilers, I would be all over it. Irving Fryer. Check that out. They pretty much use the same head sculpt. It's a little bit different, but almost identical. Kirk. And who's this? Lieutenant Commander Geordi. I don't know who that guy is. 
is. And who we got here? Oh, Captain Picard. Oh, I guess this guy's name is right here. Benjamin Sisko. And then we've got Alien Edition, Worf. What is this guy's name? Oh, William Riker. And more Kirk. Looks like he's got like triples of Kirk. These micro machines, for the most part, are only selling like for like five to eight bucks on eBay. There are some that like sold for like 14, 15. But overall, these things are not worth anything. I'm not a Star Trek person, so I'm not gonna get them for my collection, but maybe I'll message Keith about it. Well, it looks like nobody wanted the Spice Girls either because they're all still here. Sweet Eliza Jane. <laughs> yes, I ended up scoring some Marvel Toy Biz. They still had a lot to choose from and uh, I'm excited about it. I picked up, I think like 14 or 15 different carded action figures. So we're gonna do a little show and tell with those here at the end of the video. But in the meantime, let's go hit up some thrift stores and see if we can find us some vintage goodies. All right, gang, let's see what we can find here. Oh, we got a, we got a taco holder with a bowl. You don't normally see it with like a dipping bowl. That's fun. I'm always busting shit up. All right, guys, let's see. Does he have paint wear on his nose? Does the conspiracy still prove to be true? Oh yeah, look at him. He's got paint wear all over his nose. What is up with that? Oh, this looks like it's some sort of a uh, green lantern vehicle. That's kind of cool. Oh, check out this thing. Some sort of little place that shake and go off road. I think I've seen this one other time. Let's open it up. Oh yeah, look how fun that is. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, look at that. It's a pizza frisbee. Oh yeah, I think this guy is from Big Hero 6, right? He's missing a wing though. And we got this unicorn. Oh, we got a Teletubby plush. He's like a beanie. These little boop birthday cupcakes I used to have. We used to have every single month, January through December, and I won every single one of them out of a claw machine. We used to play the claw machine all the time when Caroline was little. It was like something fun that we'd do. We'd take like 10 bucks over to the machine, dump in some quarters and just play. And I got really good at it and was able to get the whole, the whole ensemble January through December. Well, guys, I can't promise much because I haven't really found anything in this store's baggy section in like ever, but it's always worth looking. What do we got here? Mickey D's toy. A lot of Mickey D's toys, actually. Uh, we got a bunch of these little things. I don't know if those are vintage or not. A Viewmaster. Lots of die cast as usual. These bags are always loaded up with lots of die cast. Oh, there's a Hulk. And Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks. I think that's like Kung Fu Panda, maybe. And this one's got some Sonic, some Donkey Kong. Oh, this one's got a Michelangelo TMNT in it with a helmet. Look at these little dolls. Aren't those creepy? And I'm assuming he's from the B movie. What do we got here? Looks like we got a Jake from Adventure Time. That's a cool Jake. And we got a vintage California raisin. A Mario. We've got a Superman Imaginex. We've got a TMNT. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, here's some little trolls. Those look old. $5.99 for the bag. Are you kidding me? Check out this armadillo. He's actually really well constructed. I wonder if this is worth anything. Well, it turns out he's worth Jack Squat. He is a Texas armadillo and he's selling for about three bucks. 
check this car out. It's like all squishy and stuff. It's shaggy. It says Scooby-Doo on the side of it. It's from 2004. They wanted five bucks for this thing. You know, when I first started going to this particular Texas thrift, I scored some decent stuff. I mean, I got like a G.I. Joe board game. I got some action figures. But the last several times I've been there, like, like when I say several times, I'm talking like the last like two or three months. I feel like I haven't really scored anything out of there except for some maybe some some cool VHS tapes like Alan Quartermain and the Lost City of Gold, you know, that sort of thing. But as far as toys go, it hasn't really been producing. Another place that hasn't been producing too much for me lately is Goodwill. But, you know, we still got to check, you know, even though the stores don't always produce, you still have to always check because you just never know. So let's head to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here, baby. We're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. All right, guys, let's see what they got. Man, this is another Goodwill that basically has Jack Squat at it. I think I've only ever found one or two things, the Billy Blast Off for sure, and then like maybe one other thing. Although I have pulled some VHS out of here, so we'll definitely check that, but this looks pretty empty. Yeah, we're gonna get busted on toys for sure. Stories Abraham and Isaac. Cliffhanger. I don't have that one. Box is a little beat, but probably still worth getting just to watch. What's this? We want to adopt you into our church family. <laughs> it's like we want to adopt you into our cult. Oh, look at this dude. That is cool. Well, I got cliffhanger. That was it. It's the only thing I picked up. So let's head on over to Thrift Shitty, baby. And let's see, what do we got here? Got some Lilith. What is this? Dark Stalkers Lilith. I wonder if that's resellable. I don't know what they're charging for it though. I don't see all oh, 20 bucks. At least for this one. I'm assuming they're both the same. Okay, so these things seem to be selling in box for like 80 to 100 plus. So I think I'm gonna take a little closer look at them. If they're 20 bucks each, I'll get them and then just list them to flip them. Okay. Doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. Okay, all right, let's take a look at the games here. We got a 300 piece, 1001 Dalmatians puzzle, United States puzzle. Anything fun, anything vintage that's worth money, like Fireball Island, that would be so cool to find something like that. Let's uh, save the day, all oh, the Incredibles. Dragon flagging. Dragon Ball Z board game. I don't see that too often. All right, let's take a look. There's definitely a lot of pieces here. I don't know if they're all here, but I might investigate. Okay, I've got everything sorted out. Now I gotta count. The only thing I saw that was missing, he doesn't have a little black piece like these guys. So there is one black piece missing. But uh, I don't know if all the cards are here or not. I'm gonna check that out right now. Well, everything is here except for the 28 tokens. I've only got 26 tokens. But it's cool enough. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Okay, what's this? A Christmas story board game. That's awesome. You know, I was going to grab this, but I think I'm going to leave it behind. It's not as old as I thought it was. I thought it might have been from the 90s, but it's like from the year 2010. It's pretty neat, but I don't really need it. 
Um, I wasn't going to flip it or anything. I was just going to keep it. I thought it was cool. I don't even collect Dragon Ball. <laughs> I don't even collect that shit. I don't... I don't know why I wanted it. I just, I guess because it was neat. So anyway, let's see what else we can find. So this is their toy section. They said they were supposed to be getting a lot of toys in, but the last few times I've been here, there hasn't been many. I mean, there's definitely more than what there used to be, but nothing cool. Dang, look at all this. It's Gundam VHS, $3.99 each, damn. That's a lot though. Like, I wonder if these sell for like more money than that. It's like a whole collection here. Oh, I haven't, haven't actually seen this movie. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I've heard people talk about it over the years. I've never seen it. I think I'm gonna get it. Oh, check this shit out. This is awesome. Let's put this off to the side. Somebody made that. You can see they actually like painted it on there. That is pretty incredible. Holy cow, like that was a lot of VHS. <laughs> a lot of that Gundam VHS stuff. Like it's not really something I'm into, so I just left it there on the shelf. But that was pretty cool. Anybody that's into that stuff and is also into VHS, like they would have loved that haul. So now I did pick up some things there. I did get these anime figures that are actually worth quite a bit of money, which is really exciting. So let's take a little look at those. All right, so I did pick up these two anime statue figurine thingies. And uh, initially I was gonna flip both of them, but it turns out Caroline really likes this one. Her name is Morrigan. And uh, she was like, Dad, can I have that one? So she's actually going to keep this one. And Nicole said, I want to make some money. So Nicole took this one from me. And she's going to list it up in her eBay store. And try to make a little kiggity cash on them. So uh, the only thing is, I, I don't know. I'm hoping. Let's turn these things sideways and kind of take a look at them here. Um. I don't know if they're, you know, counterfeits or not. You know, sometimes these things can be faked. You can buy them like on, you know, Timu or Wishlist or something like that overseas. Alibaba, you know, buy stuff overseas that are knockoffs of uh, the originals. And they look almost, you know, they look like they would be real. But then they have these little, you know, slight variations that make them fake, you know. I don't know if these are fake or not. So... I'm hoping they're the real deal. I'm going to list them as the real deal. <laughs> so, but, you know, we'll see. Some I had a friend of mine, thr uh, Thrifter Sean, he listed something that uh, some little anime figures, and they ended up being fake. And when he sent them up, the guy bought them when he got them. He's like, these are fake. And Sean was like, I had to return his money and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm we may find ourselves in that situation, but we... We'll see. I think they're really cool and uh, hope, and I hope Nicole can make a little money on it. And of course, Caroline, it doesn't matter if they're fake or not. She likes it and that's all that matters. Okay, so we picked up a couple of things we can flip. Well, at least one of them we can flip. Caroline's keeping the other one. But let's see if we can find some more stuff. Let's go hit up the thrift store. Oh, check this out. They got a nativity set, the three wise men. I had this once before. I sold it. I want 18 bucks for it. I think I sold it for like 40 or 50 bucks or something like that, but I'm going to pass on it this time. We got all kinds of 12 inch figures over here. Has he got paint wear? Yep, he sure does. How about this guy? Oh, yeah. As always. Oh, here's another nativity set, but not an action figure one. Oh, it's like a Sonic kids meal toy. All right, I was like, what is this brain? What else do we got? An Eeyore, some TMNT roller skates. I don't know who this little dude is. He's like a bendy fig. Speaking of bendy figs, we got this guy here too. He's, a, he's from Sonic. Check that out. Oh, fudge. Half tempted to get it. The, oh, 
fudge. <laughs> Little door thingy was kind of cool. I was this close to getting it, but you know what? I got too much stuff, man. Too much. I don't need to keep adding more junk. I'm already adding more junk as we go along, you know, throughout this, uh, throughout today's episode. I don't need to keep adding more and more junk that I really don't need. So anyway, uh, that was, uh, the thrift store. It's, and for those of you that are new to the channel, it's actually just called the thrift store. That's actually the name of it on the front, the thrift store. So, but up next, St. Vinnie de Paul. Guys, this little dude has been here since like July. It's crazy. I think he, I think they want like 20 bucks for him. I think that's why, or 25. And that's why nobody's buying him. He's not worth that much. You think they dropped the price on him or something. So what is this thing here? Oh, it's some sort of like monster truck play set. And what's this? Some sort of tickle me elmo thing here's some frisbees go wild look at this thing it's like a uh, nerf i like darts i guess Jeez. i was looking to see if it was vintage but i can see there's a dot com right here so it's definitely not a vintage one i'll check it out it's a fisher price vacuum cleaner And these things are selling for like 25, 30 bucks and like $28 shipping on top of it. I wonder if I should just grab that. I really want for it. I don't see a sticker on it. Oh, here it is. $12.99. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Oh, look, they got an old play school sit and spin in here. Let's get this thing out of here. This one is from 2008, so it's not old school like I thought. No, isn't that interesting? Cheers. Mayday Malone. Oh, it's signed and autographed by Mayday Malone. Old Sam Malone. Hmm, I wonder if that's worth something. What do they want for it? $1.39. Well, I tried looking it up on eBay. I can't find a single listing with this. Um, yeah, I have no idea if it's worth anything, but it's a dollar thirty-nine, so I'm gonna snag it. Looks like we got a Mr. Potato Head in a uh, in a cow cowboy outfit. Oh, what's this? Pocket radio. What do you want for that? Four bucks. Oh, and it still works. All right, so not a whole lot going on at St. Vinny's, but I did pick up the Cheers Baseball. Again, signed by Sam Mayday Malone. Well, actually, it just says Mayday Malone, number 16. So I thought it was kind of a cool baseball. I got that, and then I also got the little radio. And I actually think it does play. And it'll put you to sleep, just like a baby. Kind of fun. So I did get this. All right. Now, with that being said, it's time for some show and tell. Let's take a look at these Marvel figures that I picked up earlier today. So this right here is my haul. Like I said, I got like 14 or 15 different figures. They were originally $5. And with the 25% off, I think I got them each for like $3.50. So pretty badass. I should have probably picked up more than what I did, but this is a, a pretty sweet little haul. So we got this guy here, Comcast, I guess is his name. You guys should know by now, I'm not real familiar with all the different types of uh, characters in the Marvel and the DC universes and stuff like that. So this stuff will at least help edu educate me on the topic. So we've got this guy here, Comcast. Mutant hunting hovercraft, I guess, is what. Oh, so that's uh, that's what he's riding there. Mutant hunting hovercraft. Okay, so we got him. We got this guy extreme with axe attack action. So that is a cool looking figure. And then here are some of the other figures in this line. 
And, uh, oh, and I, I can see that I've got some of them. So very cool. So I got this guy. And then we got Black Tom. I think he's kind of cool. I like how his eyes kind of like, I don't know what, is it like, does he have like a black eye? And it's like bloodshot or something? Does he have a special power that comes out of that eye maybe? Comes with a power bio blast. So oh, each one of these guys has like a little gimmick. You can see he like shoots something out of his hand there. Oh yeah, I can see it right there. Super cool. So we got him. We got Slayback. I actually have him loose. So it's kind of neat to have him on card. Which, by the way, guys, I'm trying to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to keep these guys on card. And I'd like you to help me make that decision. So in the comments below, I'll give you. We're going to give it. We're going to give it 72 hours, three days for people to vote. And I want you to comment with open if you want me to open these figures. Or comment with close, C-L-O-S-E, if you want me to uh, keep them closed up in the packaging. So either open or close. Well, the end of three days, I'll check back on the comments and see which vote got the most. And if it's open, I will open all of them. If it's closed, I will keep them sealed. So it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. So we got him. And then we got this guy, Grizzly. I think he's pretty badass. Man, I just love the colors on these cards. But you can see, like, some of these cards are, like, a little damaged. And I don't think these figures are actually worth a whole lot of money. Um, so part of me is like, man, I want to open them. But I'll let you guys decide. All right, we got GW Bridge. I really like these colors on him. The green, the red, the white beard, the white flat top. Looks good. Looks good, brother. Oh, here's a different card back. Oh, check out that Venom. That's really cool. He's got like a web behind him, too. All right, so we got this guy. We also got Mole Man. Now, he was $8, but he does come with this other little figure here as well. But how cool are these things? Oh, man, that is a sharp-looking lineup of toys right there. So we got Mole Man. And then we've got Strong Guy. <laughs> That's funny. Is that, is that his real name, just Strong Guy? I guess it's kind of like naming He-Man, He-Man, you know? It's just, uh, just, I mean, this guy is bulking with muscle. You know, if you were to ask me, what would you name this guy? I'd call him Strong Guy. So <laughs> we got him. And then let's see, what else we got here? We got Senyaka. He kind of reminds me of a um, Star Wars, like the uh, the Emperor's Guard, you know? Kind of has that kind of look to him, except these uh, this version of it is them on steroids because this guy's got like an eight-pack going on there or something. But yeah, uh, he's got a whip-snapping action. Again, some more figures in this particular line. Yeah, I'm just loving the vibrant colors on these cards. And then we've got Rogue. She kind of has that skunk hair thing going on. And then, oh, this is like probably my favorite one right here. Warpath. I've never even heard of this guy, but I'm like, man, did they, I guess they probably wrote some comics about him, huh? And, uh, but I, I love the fact that he's like a Native American Super, super cool. He's got Smashing Power Punch. Even better. So we got Warpath. And then we got this guy right here, Mojo. Man, he is kind of creepy and disgusting looking. <laughs> and he's got like this scorpion tail that comes around the back there. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, cool. So we got him. And then we got uh, Deathlock. He's a cool looking figure too. And then we've got Kill Spree. I like the purple and yellow with him. What's he got here? Slide blades into Kilgrew's hands. Squeeze his legs for arm slashing action. And then last, but certainly not least, we got Spider Woman. This is probably my second favorite one. I love it has like this little card that comes with it as well. Yeah, I, uh, I think I made out pretty good, guys. What do you think?
So after I left this estate sale, there was still a lot of toys on the table. And I knew on the last day of the sale, they were gonna be doing 50% off. So I thought what I would do is I would wait until the hour before they closed. So they, they were closing the estate sale. It was a Sunday at 4 p.m. So I decided that I was gonna go over there at 3 p.m. and see if I could make like a, a deal for all of it, you know? And uh, so I grabbed the girls. They actually went over to their, over to the estate sale with me. And when I walked in, I was still expecting to see the toys there. There was a, when I walked, got there and walked in, there was a sign that said everything was 75% off because there was only one hour left in the sale. So I was like, oh sweet. Like I don't even have to work a deal. 75% off. That means I can get them like for like a buck, buck 50 each. Like I'll just buy a shit, like a hundred, couple hundred bucks worth or something like that. And uh, so I walked in there and pretty much everything was gone. The only thing was that was left was like three or four Sequest figures that I already had. Uh, they were doubles. Everything was gone. So I asked uh, one of the estate sale guys that was there. I said, hey, did someone come in and buy all of this? He said, yeah, a little earlier today when everything was 50% off, some guy came in and just bought everything. I was like, oh, wow. So I guess I waited a little too late, but hey, I got some awesome stuff. I'm super thrilled about it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you had some fun too. If you did do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.